It did. It's uh, it was a rough one, and our locker room's real quiet. Um, yeah, a lot of a lot was put into it. Just uh, unfortunate to come out with the loss, but uh, yeah, we definitely could have played better. It was a back and forth game. I'm not saying we outplayed them, but uh, felt like a lot was put in to, to finally get that lead, and just weren't able to finish. But you feel like their de- their offense did near the end of that drive that that just put your defense. Well, yeah. Wow. Well, I mean, uh, yeah, they made a couple throws, and he scrambled, and he found a guy, and. They made a nice catch on Spoon on the on the boundary there. He was that's uh, Demario, but you know they got in position. Their kicker made the kick. They win the game. Reggie Bagleton hit 5,000 yards in this game. I know it's kind of hard to draw positives, but what does a leader like that do for a game like this? After a game like this? Well, I mean he's always doing the right things. He played hard. Uh, felt like uh, you know when we hit the big one too, and that kind of was a spark for us. Um, uh, congratulations on the 5,000, but he's got more in him. He's got more in him. So uh, hopefully uh, it's been hot the last three weeks. He's been playing well. He's been getting some, uh, getting a little bit more involved. Uh, him and Jake have some chemistry, so doing some good things. One of the things you talked about after Toronto, the game, was sometimes the run game for the opposition kind of got away from you. How did you feel you stopped the run today? I don't know. I had to look. Uh, and, you know, unfortunately, a lot of times the coach, you remember the negatives versus the positives. So... Probably need to look at that. Um, yeah, there's a lot of chatter with their running back. Uh, seemed like that was kind of the highlight. That, that's what was taking over a lot of chatter. And um, yeah, it needed to step up. Uh, obviously, uh, thought we did stop them when we needed to uh, in the run game, but then they they made their plays in the pass game. People are going to look at that game and see a first and fourth quarter where you guys played pretty well in the second and the third, where things sort of weren't clicking. Do you have any idea why? I mean, I've asked a couple times about those pro. Yeah, I don't know. I had I got to watch it, but I mean, football's a rhythm game on offense, and then defense, you know, like uh, tackling and getting your hands in the ball, and uh, you know, staying within the system. But some of those guys step up and make a play. Uh, special teams, I thought was pretty good as well. I thought we uh, we were hitting our returns pretty good, and uh, you know, it was a fairly wasn't a lot of like technical penalties. There were some poise penalties on both teams. Hard fought game. We just just came out on the losing end of it. Knowing what you can and can't say about officials, um, the the review on the the Tommy Stevens. Oh, they got uh, it right. <laughs> well, they got it right. I mean, here's what happens: is there's always <sighs> okay. There's an overreaction to something that goes wrong. You know, in the previous game, they blew the whistle, and uh, you know we lost out on potentially a long return. So there's always an overreaction to something that's a critical uh, potential missed call. So. Not surprising that they decided to swallow the whistles on that. I, you know, he was sitting on the ground for, or sitting on top of guys for a couple seconds. But you know, guess what? They got it right. So it was really my reaction is they got it right. Just, uh, you know, I know there's, I know there's an overreaction because of what happened last week in our game where they blew the whistle and we were running down the sideline with a chance to score. So I get it. That's 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 human. That's the way it goes. Um, <coughs> But they got it right, so that to me was uh, certainly nothing really to talk about. I'm not sure if it was 21 or 22, but a couple of years ago this team started slow. You had a bye week, and you, you came back, and, and the team looked considerably different. And you talked about the coaches really needing to get in there and do the work and, and figure out what was going right and what was wrong. You have a pretty long period right now before you yeah. play the next game. Do you want this team to look substantially different when you guys come back? Uh, well, we've got 18 days. It's a, it's a weird schedule. It's been a really weird first half, and we've played that way because uh, it's a – a lot of good things in this game, a lot of great effort, a lot of things that I like, um, but it's just been a, a weird first 10 games. You know, we've had a lot of weird weeks, five, six, nines, we've got a couple of nines. Now we go on an 18-day bye. Uh, what we need to do is get away, but our coach has been working extremely hard and, uh, you know, putting guys in positions where we think we can succeed, and the guys, for the most part, I believe, have bought in, and they're playing hard. We, we do think, yeah, there's some things we can always improve on, always, uh, and we have to. Uh, as far as... You know, you start Labor Day, I've always felt, you know, NFL cuts start coming out. Uh, you're always looking to improve your team, uh, and you're always trying to get momentum. Um, so for me, you can you can generate momentum in the back eight. You really can. But uh, I think we're, we're actually doing some good things, it's just kind of not translating into wins because the league, there's a lot of good players. There's a lot of good players, and other teams have good players too, and it's really like it was tonight, a one play here, a one play there, and that's the difference between a win and a loss.